everyone. It's Miss Carla here at the Palos Heights Public Library, and I was ex I'm excited to tell you about two new books today that I think you would like to read. So the first one is called Meet at the Crew, Meet the Crew at the Zoo. Meet the Crew at the Zoo. It's a mouthful <laughs> by Patricia Riley Giff, which who is actually a two-time Newbery Honor Medal winner. That just means that she has won some some awards twice. So this is a fun book. Lions and Tigers for Neighbors, that doesn't bother Luke at all. He, it's making new friends that scares him. Not only has Luke had to move from Florida to New York because of his dad's job as a zoo doctor, but he's also had to leave behind his beloved abuelo. Abuelo means grandpa in Spanish. When Luke discovers a mysterious zebra striped box, he's determined to find the owner. To close the case, he'll have to get to know the other kids on Zoo Lane. So this book I recommend for anyone who likes mysteries because there is a mystery component. Anyone who is struggling with change, such as in this case, he's struggling with moving away. Luke is struggling with moving. Um, anyone who is loves animals, I think you'll like this book. And if you like this one, it's the first in a series. So that's my first suggestion. My next suggestion for my maybe a little more advanced readers is called Farrah Rock's Fifth Grade. And this is by Susan Mudad Darash. So Farah is starting fifth grade, and she's very excited. She and her best friend are applying to a very prestigious magnet academy. And for years, they've been wanting to go there, to middle school there. But then Farah finds out that her little brother is being bullied by someone named Dana. And now she's not sure if she can go to middle school and leave him behind. She's worried about what will happen to him while she's gone. She's also worried that Allie's becoming, her best friend Allie's becoming friends with this Dana person who's bullying her brother. And her parents are worried about money, and the teachers don't seem too worried about the bullying. So this is a good book I recommend for if you like family stories. If you're, if it deals with issues such as bullying and how to handle it. And if you enjoy reading about a brother and sister relationship and friendships, then I think you'll like this book. The other thing that's neat about this book that I wanted to mention is in the back, there is a glossary of words in Arabic. So as you're reading along, you can look up in the back and see, see what the words are and what they mean. And she also includes a hummus recipe, which I think is very, very cool. The author includes this. It's supposed to be Farrah's famous hummus recipe. So I hope you enjoyed my book recommendations, and I hope to see you in the library soon.